CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. I am at the trailhead for uh, Cerro Monto. Day one. This is a pretty short hike. Um, did a bunch of planning this morning and uh, mapped a whole bunch of mountains that are around the Greens Peak, uh, which I will insert right about here so that you can see it. And uh, you can also see from my charts uh, on the link to hamninja.com for the blogs for this particular trek. July 4th, 2019. Um, I needed pretty much all wheel drive to get up this hill up to this point. Um, well, probably the last hundred yards or so. So if you had a two wheel drive, you'd be fine. I stopped here and didn't want to high center on some of this stuff coming up. So uh, should be a pretty quick hike. I'm uh, probably halfway up the hill. It's not not a huge hike, but I thought I'd get something going and get us started. And uh, in just a few minutes, we'll look at the area that uh, has all the peaks that are on that chart you may be looking at now. Boy, you can really hear the cicadas going. And this is steep. Might be able to see that antenna in the distance. That's most likely our summit. So, off we go up the road. Ah, just to give you an idea how steep this is, looks like uh, somebody with four wheel drive stopped here. Couldn't get any farther, kind of dug in. It's soft, but uh, a little bit steeper here. At the summit, um, just below the antenna. Bunch of uh, RF shacks down here, quietly humming away. Looks like they're uh, doing a little relay up here with microwave. Um, I'm not familiar with the other type of antenna. We'll could take a look at that. Maybe some of you guys can tell me what they are, because I don't know. What you're looking right here is possibly my plans for tomorrow. Just went up in smoke. Forest fire working over there. Uh, now that I'm up here, it doesn't look too big, um, and it's west of my primary operating area of operation, but um, I was planning on going up to uh, Whiting Knoll, which I believe they said that's where that was. So I need to get on the internet and look at what areas are going to be closed off. Hopefully nothing to the east of that, because that's really what I want to get into, Greens Peak and then behind there if you look at the charts uh, per the URL that I'll have in the description below. If you don't see it, just make sure you hit on hit the more link and uh, it should be in there. So, uh, nice view off to the east here. Not super quiet because of the, all the units. I was uh, monitoring the some of the fire, uh, some of the known fire VHF frequencies that I have. I think one of them must be a uh, highway patrol or sheriff or something but anyway let's take a look at uh, these antennas and then uh, let's put some of our own RF up in the air hey, you're blowing pretty hard up here eh, not too bad it's about uh, 10 10 to 20 knots here's that antenna I was talking about there's a uh, 50s antennas there's, there's three different types on there there's a dish actually four looks like a beam at the bottom probably for control A, uh, a different tuner today. Uh, it's lighter. It's only a pound. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to see if I could get that working because at times in my last activation uh, I was having issues. It has a lot to do with the train. If I can get the antenna off the ground. But uh, man, you never know. So, we'll goof around with that. 
Yeah, just one other note. This is a look off to the west. So a nice little look here. You can see we're on a big giant plateau here. Uh, a lot of volcanic uh, peaks around here. I think we're sitting on a little thing, volcano. So but that's not a volcano over there. <laughs> that's a forest fire. And with the winds blowing like they are, that is definitely not going to make those guys too happy. But uh, other than that, a beautiful day today. Uh, much cooler for July 4th up here, um, which is always welcome. Sometimes uh, July 4th can be kind of toasty up here. We're just at the beginning of the monsoon season. So um, my next trip up here, we should be well into good monsoons. That means we're only hiking in the morning, given the electrical storms in the afternoon. Um, so I'm putting a big lightning rod next to me and I'm putting my headphones on. <laughs> Kind of a chancy operation when it's like. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air at Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Papa 031. Any station anywhere. Uh, station November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie QRZ. November 7 Papa. November Sierra 7 Pop, uh, QSL. QSL, November Sierra 7 uh, Pop, Portugal. Roger, Roger, I got you uh, about a 5-5-5-5. about 5-5, about 5-5-2 five, 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 five. in Oregon, thanks, and uh, 73. Alrighty, thank you, 73. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie for Summits on the Air at Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Pop 031. Okay, there's a station in there, uh, QRZ for November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. November Whiskey 7 Echo, Kilo 6, Mike Whiskey. Um, station ending in Echo, go ahead. November Whiskey 7 Echo, November Whiskey 7 Echo. Yeah, QSL, QSL, I got you 5-5 five, five here on the mountain. Alrighty, thank you. Sounding great there, man. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, summits on the air. Kilo 6, Mike Whiskey. Kilo 6, Kilo 6, Mike Whiskey, uh, QSL. Roger, Roger, you're 5-5 five, five in Spokane this afternoon. Yeah, Roger, Roger, uh, I got you at about a 5-7 here, 5-7, and that's Kilo 6 and... I screwed up the uh, call sign here. Can you give that to me one more time? Sure, no problem. Kilo 6, Mike Whiskey, Mexico Whiskey. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Got you. Kilo 6, Mike Whiskey. Uh, sounding good, and thanks for helping me activate today. Thank you very much for the activation. Alrighty, man. 73, this is November 1, Charlie Lee Maturley on Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Pop 031. Alpha Echo 7, Uniform Tango. Oh. Alpha Echo 7, Uniform Tango, QSL? QSL, QSL, you are 5555, 5, 5, 5 in Utah, QSL? QSL, QSL, I got you at about a 5-4, 5-4, over. Uh, can you give me my signal report one more time, one more time, 84, 54, 54, 54, over. 54, QSL, 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 over. Alrighty, 73, November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, summit's on the air. November 0, Romeo Zulu. November 0, Romeo Zulu, uh, QSL. QSL, yeah, you're about 5 Kansas. Roger, Roger, you're jumping between about a 5-8 and a 5-9, over. Okay, well, thank you, you said this. Glad you're on here. I got your number a while ago, so 73 and a half time. Alrighty, 73, thanks for helping me activate. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, Summit's on the air. Okay, I got a Whiskey, Whiskey 7 Delta, QSL. Roger, Roger, I got you at a 5-3, five, five, the band's kind of up and down. 5-3, five, 5-3. Three, five, three. Uh, 
Alrighty, man. Thanks for helping me activate. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Okay, I got our Alpha Bravo 4 Whiskey Lima QSL. Okay, uh, just to confirm, I got Alpha Bravo 4 Whiskey Lima QSL. Okay, Roger, Roger. I got you at about a 5353 over. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie Summits on the air at Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Papa Dash 031. Okay, the fire is still going over there. Hopefully, the winds will die down for them. Um, oh, there goes my messages. Um, so, anyway, good activation. Uh, picked up some new contacts, first time contacts today. Um, was trading some messages with somebody on Slack and, and uh, he was having difficulty getting to me so we were able to switch to CW and do a quick uh, QSO that way so that was cool. It was a short one given my skills but I'm getting there. Um, definitely cooled off a little bit up here. Winds are blowing, I don't know, gusting up to about 20, 20 knots up here so not too bad. I had a good operating position behind this tree so I was able to get out of the sun and uh, We'll, we'll motor on home. All right, loaded up, descent complete, and uh, we're going to head back to the to the villa. See what we can uh, do tomorrow. It's going to be uh, hopefully the Greens Peak area, but maybe I'll just hit uh, Wall Knoll, uh, which is on the other side of the freeway from there. There's also Pole Knoll. So those are two. I was trying to save one of those for the next trip, so we'll see. Hiking day two. Heading out to the Greens Peak area. And uh, going to be doing a little bit of picking around. We got to stop by the Forest Service station and see where the burn areas are. See if there's any closed forest areas. Because uh, I've been given conflicting stories in my uh, area of operation. Uh, there's, there's reports of a lightning caused fire right in the area that I was planning for about an hour yesterday. Um, the other report was it's burn, it's control burn. So if it's control burn, it's an awful big control burn. So anyway, we'll uh, see what we got here. Just leaving the, uh, the summer villa, my mountain villa, and um, I'm gonna head down the road here. Okay, I'm at the Springerville Ranger Station and got some bad news. Uh, a good part of my area of operation and plans this morning have been shut down. They've uh, closed the area for a fire that was going up there. Uh, it was a lightning strike, but uh, sounds like they have it under control, but then they're going to continue with a control burn uh, for the area. So they've closed it. That means I'm going to have to go farther west. Um, I might be able to get into some peaks there or uh, jump south and there's some nice peaks in there. So um, I'm going to go up and check the uh, smoke out. I don't want to be going in thick smoke. We'll see what the winds are like. Uh, if they're coming in from the south, then I can kind of move into the southwest and uh, see how it goes.
am at the trailhead for uh, St. Peter's Dome. Good news, actually, looks like they've concluded their uh, burn operations up here. The roads were open, no sign at all uh, for any closures. So um, I took that as a go. And uh, so primary objective this morning, St. Peter's Dome. And then we'll see what else we can hit uh, up in this area of operations here. Man, it is absolutely gorgeous. You see the car parked back there, heading up this closed road. Chance of rain maybe this afternoon, I don't know. But uh, wow, 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 wow. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm just about, uh, probably about 9,000 feet right now and uh, getting ready to head up the mountain. So let's, let's get this thing underway. Well, <clears throat> couldn't ask for more perfect weather right now. Um, becoming overcast up here. Hopefully it doesn't rain until I can get uh, set up with my lightning rod, also known as an antenna. Um, stuff looks pretty high though. So that means the, uh, the uh, dew points quite a ways away from me, this elevation. Wow, this is beautiful. A lot of new growth in here, as you can see. Perfect weather. Perfect terrain. I'm following uh, which looks like an old trail here. So I'll stay on this as long as I can. Might be some other Jeep trails I run into. Kind of get me to where I'm going. multiple uncharted trails here could be game trails but I don't think so following this one no wind silence. a mile point 1.2 into it taking a quick break um, I said a little bit of a different path than charted. Um, it's about as steep as Escadia Butte. Uh, more beautiful, nice soft ground. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of zigzag here. If I continued off to the east like I was planning from here, I'd be going down into a ravine having to climb back up. And this is all doable. Um, and a nice clear path up and through here too, so um, compassionate bushwhacking is easy. I'm taking a break just for you guys. Yes, it's steep. I can't tell you what a joy it is to bushwhack in this kind of country compared to the high desert or desert. Wow. I'm at the summit of St. Peter's Dome. I've already found my operating position right over there. I'll tie off under that guy and uh, we'll launch some RF into the air. Wow. What a gorgeous freaking hike. Um, let's see. Maybe some smoke just to the east of me. They're doing controlled burn up here, um, but uh, butterflies and looks like we got deer flies and horse flies too. Nothing like that peak and over by Temecula. That was epic, <laughs> epically bad. This is just forest, man. 
give you a shot of the summit here. Just came up this way. Beautiful little, lots of shade. Easy ways you can see, basically stay off anything green. And, um, just, just amazing. Let's get set up and launch tomorrow. Okay, um, in the operating position, my first contact is the summit to summit. Adam Kimberly on um, Los Pinos, I believe, or Pinos uh, that I've done before. And I uh, just got a summit to summit with him via um, CW. That was awesome. Um, brought the tuner along. I don't like this tuner, but it's it's pretty darn light and it allows me to get on uh, uh, 10 megahertz. So tuned up on that and, and got Adam. Pretty stoked about that. So let's dial around. I'm trying to see uh, if there's any other summiters out there, but my cell service really sucks right here. I was getting 3G when I was standing up, so I might just unplug and see if I can't um, see if I can't get some better cell service. Uh, grab some grab some more spots. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November one. Charlie Lima, Charlie Summits on the air at. Whiskey 7 Alpha Slant Alpha Papa 006. Any station anywhere. CQ, CQ, CQ. Okay, I got a Kilo Bravo 4 uh, station. Go again. Okay, I got a Kilo Bravo 4 CRMI Kilo uh, QSL. Alrighty, um, if you can come back to me one more time, I might have a signal report for you, over. Roger, Roger, I got you at at least a 5.3. Um, my meter doesn't seem to be working, but you're blasting in here, man. Yeah, Roger, Roger, I got you at, at least a 5.5, five, 5.5, five, 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 over. Okay, QSL, did you uh, see me on the spotting network or just hear my CQ, over? Okay, yeah, I've got a spot I'm hoping to get. Okay, um, just completed activating, got a couple Summit to Summits. I thought I got a Summit to Summit with uh, K6ARK, not sure. Um, talked to him a little bit on Slack and I, he's on his way back to his vehicle, so I'll find out a little bit later. I did get a, a, another Summit to Summit via CW and some Summit to Summit uh, via sideband. Um, and then a ton of contacts from all the usual uh, folks, uh, Charles, Gary, Martha. So uh, good activation, beautiful country. Um, the horse flies are driving me a little bit crazy, so, but nothing, nothing that bad. Uh, I guess that's just drama, right? Anyway, let's get back down the hill. They're shooting that direction. So I'm gonna go this way down to the road and then uh, uh, that should keep me out of there. <laughs> Line of fire, we hope. Just finishing up the hike. Um, St. Peter's Dome. Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Pop-006. Look at this, somebody parked their Highlander here. Wow. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Check out those tires. I wonder if it recognizes me. Ooh, it does. Alrighty then. I guess we'll just take this to the next peak. Well, 70. Um, end of Whiskey, six, uh, whiskey 7 Alpha. Slant Alpha Papa-006, St. Peter's Dome. God, what a beautiful hike. Um, easy to bushwhack um, compassionately. It's uh, easy to stay on bare ground and uh, get up the hill without tearing things up. Uh, a road goes up probably half the way, um, but I guess the, I took a little bit uh, more of a climb, give me an easier kind of route up. As I angled up to the east and then back in, um, I've got thunder off to the uh, east of me so the wind is coming for looks like it's coming from the southwest now at about 10 knots which cooled it right down it's just so nice up here um 
scattered clouds. Looks like we probably have some rain or something that way. Um, I'm going to head over to another peak, but uh, I'll wrap this one up. I'm all loaded up and ready to roll. So, uh, good times. All right, I just ran into the sheriff's uh, deputy up the road there behind me. Uh, they have closed off Whiting Knoll, which was my next destination. So I'm going to try a couple of other options uh, as we head back to the highway. Uh, that whole area, trying to get off any other peaks uh, up to 117, is not going to be, uh, it's not going to work. So no big deal. Um, and if this is all I got, I'm, I've had an awesome day. So I'm going to head out back to the highway. I think I'll save uh, Greens Peak for another day. But uh, there's a couple. Um, heading out toward Lakeside um, that I'm gonna see if I can grab grab those maybe even one on the way back it's a short one but uh, yeah it's sure is gorgeous up here I'll give you a look as we head down the road giddy up Heading up toward Cooley. Need to open the fence here. Let the gate back close it. This may be quicker than I thought if you don't have to hike this thing. That'd give me time to do one more. when you last left me we were driving up this mountain it was a very pretty drive then I set up the antenna and uh, things did not go well <laughs> the noise level was uh, past S9 uh, which means that you had to be basically right next to me with your radio gear for me to hear you through all the noise so that wasn't gonna work I moved uh, three other places maybe four and then I drove down the mountain 
Uh, to stay within the activation zone, you got to be within 80 vertical feet. I think I'm right on the edge of it, but I had to get away from all the towers and RF and power and God knows what else up there. So it was super, super crazy. Um, but I did get activated. It was funny because from the mountaintop, uh, right next to all that RF, I did get a CW contact, uh, summit to summit. So, um, but uh, after that, nothing. I did get uh, um, AA6XA um, out on the west coast again via um, CW. He couldn't hear me on uh, sideband, so we switched to uh, to uh, CW and it worked well. So that's cool. Starting to get the hang of uh, CW. Just need to get my copy speed up. Um, you'll probably hear me say that about a thousand more times. But uh, anyway, this is probably the, the most frustrating activation I think I've ever had, uh, except for uh, poser which was a super high wind um, and it was crazy stuff flying everywhere but this one was move test set up noise level too high move somewhere else I got as far away as I could walk from the uh, tower so I, then I decided to drive back down the road so finally got rigged um, I could still hear the RF but uh, it was down below 3 uh, on 20 meter 40 meter was unusable um, so, anyway, I got it activated. I think I'm going to head home. I um, was going to do three activations today, but I spent so much time on this one that I actually drove up. Uh, and I'm going to go home, uh, clean up a little bit, grill a steak, and drink some wine. Overcast day. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to head up Wall Knoll. It's about uh, 9 o'clock. Boogie up there, activate, get out. And then go to Concho. So uh, anyway, overcast, about 68 degrees, really pretty. Starting to sprinkle just a little bit, uh, but I don't think we'll pick up any heavy rain until later. Pretty little valley. Leading up to the little ridge. We'll break left. And then get to the top of Wall Knoll. Beautiful hike. Pretty easy. Till the very end. We're at about 9,000 right now. I think. Here's my route. I think there's an easier way up the north side. I prefer this, it's prettier. Um, here's a view of where I came from. You see Baldy over there. Pretty little valley here. Hiked uh, into that, right in the middle of that saddle uh, that you saw earlier. Um, there's a view off toward Escadilla uh, to the east, and then looking out to the west. Where I came from and continue around that little rocky high point is where I be headed we're currently at 9,700 approaching the peak a 460 feet of uh, elevation gain I think so far so you'll be able to rack up 500 one other interesting bit, one other statistic you might find interesting. This will be my 100th activation. Let's hope it goes well. Okay. Getting ready to start activation 100. Escadilla Mountain. Looking east. Swinging around. Look at that. What a great view. So we're past Big Lake. Now we're looking at Greens Peak right now. Bristling with antennas. That was my area of operation yesterday. Back behind there in that mountain. To the right of Greens Peak I believe is uh, St. Peter's Dome. That was a beautiful hike as was this one. 
and uh, scooching back here. A little tank down there, pretty good size. One near and then maybe one far, I'm not sure if you see it. But uh, there you go, 360 from Wall Knoll. Okay, activation number 100. I recorded a bunch, but I don't know if it got recorded. That's a bummer. I must have gotten about 30 contacts so far. There's somebody on here calling CQ. Looks like he's got a contact rolling. Not sure if the uh, first part of that got recorded. I had a major pileup going. Uh, the rain kind of came through. I'm in a kind of open spot now, but uh, I think some more rain's going to be moving in. So I'm going to shut down and get off the hill. Okay, peak number one, uh, 100, peak 100 activated. So pretty stoked about that, had a great pileup. I started the camera on the pileup and uh, I think it froze. Uh, it's a problem with this GoPro, once in a while it freezes. So uh, that was a total bummer. Had a great pileup going, uh, talked to all the usual suspects, Gary, Martha, Charles, uh, Liz. Thanks, all got, thanks to all you guys for helping me activate 100 summits and uh, hopefully I'll have a hundred more. Uh, 73 for right now. Uh, light rain, I uh, kept everything covered up with my uh, my sh uh, shell, but uh, just a little bit of sprinkles right now. There might be some more stuff moving in, so I kind of wanted to get off the hill. Cell service is no good up here, so, and really spotty on AT&T, so I couldn't do any chasing anyway. Or if I could, it'd be kind of a, an effort uh, trying to get trying to get the thing loaded so I'm gonna head down the mountain now that I'm all packed up and heading down the hill the rain has stopped <laughs> which is good I'd uh, prefer to go down the short sleeves a nice light breeze temperatures below 70 degrees uh, we're right at about 70 72 uh, really something up here All right, activation number 100 is now complete back at the car. Uh, I'm gonna head into Springerville. Uh, another stat is yesterday, um, Summit put me over 500 points, so that makes me uh, half mountain goat. Uh, my friends would probably tell me it's the, the back half of that mountain goat. Uh, I prefer to think of it as the front half, uh, you know, front wheel drive and everything, but uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it's a light sprinkle uh, still coming down so it's a little bit humid but uh, what an unbelievable hike this has been really really nice um, heard, heard some turkeys on the other side of the hill from me when I was setting up and birds light light rain overcast makes it nice and cool uh, the hike was leisurely I think about a, a gain of I don't know 500 feet so Easy peasy uh, for most people. It was actually an easier way up, but uh, yeah, my elevation gain uh, for is 715 feet. Uh, elevation of the car is 9,300. So uh, we were right at 10,000, evidently, uh, close to it. So peak number 100, half soda goat. It's been a great three days.
today's rain day. Rain most of last night and this morning. Took a break for a while and then it came back in at about 10. Set up an off-center fed dipole. Possibly do a little uh, soda chasing on the radio. But um, I don't feel like doing anything. Hmm. Yep, this wraps up a nice little uh, long weekend. Doing some summits on the air. Good for summits. It's beautiful up here. We've had so much moisture, it's unbelievably green. So I'd say uh, very successful and enjoyable.